Hello students, uh, in this video we are going to learn short circuit current and short circuit KVA calculations for symmetrical faults. Uh, here I have written one example. So uh, let's first uh, read this example and then we will solve it. So uh, here is the example a three phase transmission line operating at 66 kilovolt and connected through 1000 kva transformer with 5% reactance with 5% reactance to generating station bus bar the generator is of 2500 kva with 10% reactance we have to calculate short circuit current if fault occurs at ht terminals of transformer also we have to find out the short circuit kva hmm? so while solving the examples regarding the uh, symmetrical fault calculations first we have to draw a diagram hmm, of given network hmm? so once uh, let's read the example and uh, we'll try to uh, draw a diagram so first we'll draw a diagram uh, here they have given us a transmission line which is operating at 66 kilo volt huh? and it is connected through a transformer with a 5% reactance to a generating station. So, here is one of the generator hmm? and this generator, this generator is connected to a transformer. So, here is the transformer hmm? and they have given us a three phase transmission line operating at 66 kilo volt and connected to a 1000 kva transformer so this is a transmission line which is connected to a which is connected to a transformer so these are diagram next part is that uh, fault occurs fault occurs at the ht terminals of transformer here is the transformer this is the generator one thing that we have to remember the ht terminal of a transformer which is at a generating station hmm, is the second winding of the transformer the generator at uh, the transformer at generating station is always step up transformer it means the voltage at secondary terminal of transformer is greater than the voltage at primary terminal of the transformer huh? so the secondary of transformer the secondary of transformer is ht terminal and primary of transformer is lt terminal in this case huh? so the fault occurs at ht terminal so we can draw a fault at the ht terminal of transformer huh? now the second step to solve the example we have to write the ratings of all components in a circuit hmm? so uh, here is the generator and the rating of generator is the rating of generator is 2500 kva 2500 kva with reactance 10 percent xg percentage reactance is 10 percent hmm? so the next component or the next element is a uh, transformer it is of 1000 kva huh? it is of 1000 kva and the percentage reactance of transformer is 5 percent so percentage reactance of transformer is equal to 5 it is 5 percent this line is operating at 66 kilovolt so the voltage at ht terminal voltage at ht terminal of transformer is 66 kilo volt hmm? this is our first step to solve the symmetrical fault calculations hmm? now the next step or the second step is to select base kva students remember that while selecting the base kva there are three methods hmm? to select the base kva huh? in this case we can choose the value of base kva such that 
uh, we can add the kv ratings of all components in circuit for example in this circuit there are two components uh, generator and transformer the rating of generator is 2500 kva and the rating of transformer is 1000 kva so we can choose the base kva is 2500 plus 1000 kva means it will be a 3500 kva this is the first method to choose the base kva second method is that we can choose the largest value of kva rating of any component in a circuit or uh, in that given line uh, single line diagram in this diagram the highest kva rating is of the generator which is of 2500 kva so we can choose the base kva as a 2500 kva hmm? and the third method is you can choose any arbitrary value hmm? uh, which can be a 4000 kva 4500 kva any value that we can choose as a base kva but you can uh, you have to use it throughout the example hmm? you cannot change the base kva once you choose hmm? so in this example we'll uh, select a base kva uh, which is a largest value in a circuit which is equal to 2500 kva this is the rating of generator also hmm? so the next step is we have to convert all kvs of a given uh, components in a network or in a circuit in base kv hmm? so while converting uh, reactances of all components in a circuit in base kv we have to use a first formula which i have written there uh, the percentage reactance at base kv is equal to base kv uh, upon rated kv into so let's write here reactance of transformer at base kva is equal to base kva divided by rated kva into percentage reactance at rated kva okay so the base kva of transformer the base kva of transformer is sorry base kva which we have selected in previous step that is 2500 kva rated kva of transformer the rated kva of transformer is 1000 kva 1000 into percentage reactance at rated kva percentage reactance at rated kva percentage reactance of transformer at rated kv is 5 percent so here is 5 okay so let's simplify this so 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 and 12.5 is the answer hmm? okay this is the percentage uh, reactance of transformer at base kv hmm? this is the first step the secondly there is one more component or there is uh, generator is uh, in circuit so we have to convert this uh, the value of uh, kva of generator in base kva actually we have already selected uh, base kva as 2500 kva the percentage reactance of generator let me write here xg here we can write xt percentage xt or here is percentage xt the reactance of transformer okay hmm. the reactance of generator percentage xg hmm. the formula is same the base kva the base kva is 2500 kva and the rated kva is also 2500 kva the rated kva of generator the rated kva of generator is 2500 kva so i have written 2500 kva and the base kva which we were selected as 1500 into percentage reactance at rated kva the percentage reactance of generator at rated kva is 10 so let's simplify this it, it, it will cancel and the answer is 10 
so percentage x g is 10 okay next step to uh, the, that is fourth step is to draw a reactance diagram hmm? while drawing a reactance diagram we have to take one neutral and a phase as we are solving symmetrical fault calculations so here i will draw one neutral point hmm? first there is a generator and it is having its own reactance then there is a transformer which is having its own reactance which we have converted into the form of base kva huh? we have to take uh, reactances which which we have converted into the base kva while drawing a reactance diagram hmm? so the reactance of generator which we have converted in the form of base kva which is percentage reactance of uh, generator percentage reactance of generator at base kva is equal to 10 percent it is 10 percent the generator is connect generator is connected in series with the transformer so we have to draw uh, one more reactance which is a reactance of transformer is in series with the reactance of generator as these two components are connected in series hmm? so xt or uh, the percentage reactance of transformer at base kva is 12.5 percent 12.5 percent huh? and the fault occurs at ht terminal at ht terminal this is the ht terminal of a transformer so this is the reactance diagram hmm? now let's calculate the total reactance of a circuit till the point of fault huh? till the point of fault so percentage reactance till the point of fault so as these two reactances are in series so to find its equivalent we have to add these two reactances so xg plus xt percentage reactance of generator plus percentage reactance of transformer so here is 10 plus 12.5 which is equal to 22.5 percent this is the total reactance of a circuit till the point of fault till the point of fault okay now the fifth step the fifth step is we have to find out a total current flowing through a circuit at base kva hmm? so is a here is a formula p is equal to root 3 into vi hmm? so i equals to p at rated kva so sorry here is root 3 into v so the rated uh, base kva is 2500 into 10 raised to 3 as here is a kva upon root 3 into v now the voltage we have to take a voltage at fault point the voltage at fault point huh? the voltage of transmission line is 66 kilo volt which is 66 kilo volt hmm? they have given us a value of voltage which is 66 kilo volt kilo means 10 raised to 3 hmm? so uh, while solving this we can get the value of current uh, which is equal to i think it is near about 21.87 ampere the value of current is 21.87 ampere okay so the next point is the sixth point hmm? we have to calculate we have to calculate the short circuit current at fault uh, at fault point huh? we have to calculate a short circuit current at fault point huh? so the formula for short circuit current is current at base kva into 100 upon percentage x hmm? so as we have calculated the current at base kva also we have calculated the total percentage reactance till the point of fault hmm? so we can find out short circuit current isc total current at base kva into 100 upon percentage x which is equal to total current is 
find out the value of current which is equal to 97.2 ampere so this is the value of short circuit current at fault point hmm. students uh, when short circuit occurs when short circuit occurs the ideal condition is that ideally current is infinity and the voltage is zero when short circuit occurs at that time the short circuit current at fault point is infinity and voltage is zero ideally hmm? here we have calculated the value of current at the point of short circuit hmm? you can see here this is the full load current of a transmission line and this is a short circuit current when fault occurs hmm? means short circuit occurs so uh, we have calculated the value of short circuit current uh, one more uh, part that we have to find out we have to find out the short circuit kv also so uh, the next step which is seventh step is short circuit kva the formula which i already i have written here that is base kva divided uh, sorry into 100 divided by percentage x so base kva so base kv which is equal to 2500 we have selected the value of base kv is 2500 into 100 upon percentage x which is 22.5 22.5 and the answer is after solving we get the answer 11000 1100 uh, sorry 11000 111.11 kva which is the value of short circuit kva at the point of fault 